We're in today with a legend of a video card, GeForce 9800 GTX. This is a 2008 video card with 128 shaders. It's got 512 megabytes of GDDR3, running at 702 megahertz on the core clock and 1102 megahertz on the memory clock. It's got 256 bits bus width, DirectX 10 support, and I'm gonna pair it up with this uh, legend of a CPU, W3690 with six cores and 12 threads don't be fooled by this video card because i think you're going to be very surprised even though it's old it still got a punch seriously <laughs> i love this video card because uh, i know how it's performing and uh, today i'm going to show you let's jump in a couple of games and see how this uh, legend of a video card is running with the system let's start with world of tanks uh, this is set up on uh, minimal details with 1080p full render scale this is like bare bone but uh, look at this on uh, minimal details you can actually see that uh, the gpu is doing a fantastic job uh, nearly maximum core load and point 4 gig of uh, VRAM being utilized here. This is exactly what I need from a video card like this, you know, to have uh, on uh, low settings uh, some decent FPS. I want nothing less but this, seriously. If it's running like this with hundreds of FPS, I will say this is the biggest winner ever. Like I said at the beginning, you know, this is a an insane video card, seriously. And if you manage to put the right games with this uh, GPU, you will get uh, an insane performance from this. You know, it's not uh, it's not that bad. You know, with the right games, I, th I think this graphics card can actually do a lot of uh, performance. The system, on the other hand, 5.9 gig of system RAM, 40 uh, 40 percent on the CPU. I mean, it's a W39 uh, 3690. You know, this is not a this is not a bad CPU, you know, it's got six cores, it's running with uh, uh, four gig. And uh, I will say this is an adequate CPU for my video card. This is gonna be very interesting because the graphics card here, it's uh, set up with 1080p and low details. I'm not joking, this is one of those games that actually works on this video card. And I got hundreds of FPS, so I will say this is a very big win. <laughs> This is not a big win. This is the biggest win ever, seriously. It's going to be very interesting to see the details here and uh, the performance, the average. Yo, 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 where is he? Where is he? Back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Turn around. Let's see what you got. Where is he? Where is he? Yeah, he's a f He's super fast. Damn, enemy destroyed. Fantastic. Enemy destroyed. Yes. One plonker. Come on. Yes, that's it. Destroyed by technician. What the f Launch in one se one second. Oh, okay, 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 I like it. So look at this, 60 FPS. Uh, let me show you what settings I have because this is gonna be very interesting. I put everything on maximum details here and uh, look at this. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. 100% render scale. Uh, 1080p and maximum details. I want to see how it's holding. Seriously, if it's working with maximum details, then that means uh, on lower uh, it details it will be even better. You can actually see it's utilizing the GPU properly. It's utilizing the core, but uh, that's it, fam. There's no, there is no denying that uh, the core it uh, needs to be on a lower details in this case. No. Whoa, 40 FPS, uh, not that great <laughs> in that case, <laughs> seriously, okay, not that great, I think, uh, le can I put this on, let's put 50% render scale, I, I, I'm just curious how, to, how it looks, how it performs with 50% render scale, okay, so maximum details with 50% render scale, yeah, alright, so, this is gonna be very, very interesting. The system is has no problem. 6.1 gig of uh, uh, system RAM, 30% load on the on the CPU. I mean, that is a great uh, performance. Seriously, morale boost, and now we can auto purchase. That's it. Overall performance is good. Not very impressive minimals and uh, 1%. But uh, yeah, it's okay. But if we are jumping in GTA 5 with this video card on 1080p with no up scaling i barely have 30 fps and uh, i think uh, i need to touch that upscale or even change the resolution a little bit but i wanted to show you on 1080p how it's working with uh, normal details that's it normal details 1080p i want to see if the vram is fully utilized you know you can actually see 0.4 gig of vram being used but uh, not that that's it <laughs> 
<laughs> you know. So let's see how uh, GTA 5 is working in the garage with 15 FPS. Oh my God, this lagging so hard. It doesn't matter. I want to see how uh, the GPU is holding with uh, no modification. That's one thing. All right, and I can play like that. Frame scale to 0.5. Let's see. It's just a little better. That's it. It's not the best uh, improvement, but I think in this case I have to, yeah, I have to lower the resolution too. We're gonna start with 800 by 600. <laughs> 30 FPS in the garage with 800 by 600 with 50% render scale. Thank God I have uh, anti-aliasing glasses on my eyes. I never thought that 50 FPS with this video card would be a life achievement. <laughs> in the casino usually lags like uh, in the garage, so I'm gonna see how he performs there. And by then, I'm going to see how it feels to drive a fast car because usually when I drive a fast car, I get horrible minimals, you know, and 1%. So in this case, I will say, yeah, you can actually see that the minimals are not with this, uh, with this video card. Can I spin the wheel? Oh, 23 FPS, exactly like in the garage. 18 FPS. So I press to spin and uh, it blocked. Regardless, I seen what I wanted to see. It lags exactly like in the garage. So I can't complain about this. Seriously. Let's try Black Ops 2. I think this uh, video card can actually do 1080p with uh, low details. This is a great uh, video card that can run uh, in this game. Seriously. I think, I think because the core is maxed out. It's not utilizing at maximum the video card. I mean, the core is maxed out, but uh, you can actually see that uh, I have a lot of uh, room to um, modify the settings. It does uh, run the game with uh, 70, F 80 FPS on average. I would say that is a good performance overall from this uh, video card. And I the system itself doesn't have any problems. Um, 5.7 gig of system RAM being utilized. It looks okay, you know, the CPU is not very stressed. I will say in this situation, um, the CPU is an overkill, <laughs> uh, you know, because, uh, yeah, sometimes you, back in the days, they were not, uh, what should I say, they were not cheap, you know, the, this type of CPU. I want to see how it's running with Dota. <laughs> 9800 GTX, yes. Okay, so I have, a, I have a question. Do you know what the resolution is this? Look at this. So first off, I got uh, the core at maximum. You can actually see that uh, it's uh, fully utilized, 0.3 gig of VRAM. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of horrible in a team fight, seven minimal. It's not okay, you know, when, it, it, when you have to fight uh, in a team fight and you're <laughs> with this type of resolution, it's going to be very, very hard for you in order to achieve something. Regardless, regardless, Look at this, it's working with 70 FPS because I'm on 800 by 600 in Dota. I mean, it's not pretty, but it's working, seriously. Yeah, <laughs> no, I don't wanna play Dota like this. <laughs> Actually, let's try to put uh, a higher resolution. Can I put a higher resolution? I put uh, four by three uh, so I can get um, this uh, type of resolution. So let's put 1024. Okay, I got 1024. It looks like a, an old computer playing Dota. Seriously, 80 FPS. I wanna see if I can uh, put this one. Oh, it actually fits in the screen, seriously. Look at the minimals, 1%, uh, 0. 0.1, 0, 0, 0, <laughs> It's horrible. <laughs> I don't wanna play the game like this. It's, it's, it's gonna ruin the experience, seriously. Do I recommend a video card like this? No. Do I recommend a video card like this for a retro machine? Yes. Do I recommend this video card for a daily driver like uh, Office and uh, YouTube and stuff like this, you know, to for um, basic stuff? No, I do not recommend this video card. I would rather use Intel graphics in order to, Intel HD in order to use for uh, office work. This is a very high power consumption video card in order to use it for, as an email and office work, you know, even though it's got 500 megabytes of uh, VRAM, Intel HD can take that amount of VRAM and uh, use it similar, you know, and it's got better support on the DirectX and it's in the CPU. Regardless, the only thing is important about this video card is that it's 
old and it, be, it will become very rare in the future. You know, 9800 GTX, you know, that's the only thing. If you can build an, an, an old machine, you know, with old games, that's the only purpose. That's it. Even then, depends on the price of the video card, you know, because if it's expensive, it's not worth it, you know. If it's cheap, buy it now. Later, it will be expensive or very hard to find, you know. That's it. If it's not cheap, it's not worth it. There's a lot of options uh, aside from this video card. But from my point of view, who's already got the video card, I will say this is a very freaking awesome video card. Seriously. Like I said, I like, I like the GPU. And if you have uh, any suggestion in the future, leave a comment and I will see you very soon.